the last episode, we learned what microscope is, its parts, and their functions. But how do we actually use a compound microscope to gather information about a specimen? To answer this, let us learn how to focus a specimen using a compound microscope. In a laboratory, a small sample of something like cells, plasma, fishes, or any part of a body organ is called specimen. These samples are examined under the microscope to determine its characteristics. Do you want to learn the procedure on how to focus the specimens under the microscope? To do this, let us examine these pictures and write your answers in the observation notes. This is the start of your journey in studying microscopic objects, although we cannot hold a microscope at this moment. Again, there are necessary reminders in using the microscope in the laboratory that you must observe and follow carefully. You can try this out using a picture found of your phone as a substitute to a microscope for your knee. First, carry the microscope with your both hands, grasp the arm with one hand, and place the other hand under the base for support. Second, put the microscope on the table with the arm towards you. Third, Never touch the glass part of the lenses with your fingers. Fourth, use only special lens paper to paint the lenses. Lastly, keep your microscope covered but not in use. There are several steps to follow when examining specimens under the microscope. First, Put a slide on the stage Position the specimen over the opening on the stage And use the stage clip to hold it. Second, check the stage from the side. Slowly turn the course adjustment knob to lower the body tube until the low power objective almost touches the slide. Third, turn the force adjustment knob to raise the body tube. Fourth, look into the eyepiece and turn the fine adjustment knob until the specimen is properly focused. Fifth, while looking into the eyepiece, adjust the diaphragm and the mirror until you see a bright white circle of light. Sixth, shift to high power objective lens. Gently revolve the nose piece until the high power objective lens clicks in place. Be sure that the lens will hit the same. Seven, rotate the nose piece until the low power objective lens clicks into place. Lastly, look into the eyepiece and turn the course adjustment knob until you get the clear focus of the specimen. It's easy, isn't it? In the previous episode, we learned that the microscope is used to magnify minute objects like the bacteria. This is because of the objective lenses. 
Each objective lens has its own magnification. The shortest one is marked 3 times, 4 times, or 5 times. The LPO is marked 10 times, or 12 times. While the HPO is marked 40 times, 43 times, and 50 times. Calculate the magnification. You have to multiply the magnifications of the eyepiece Thus, an eyepiece with magnification of 10 times and an objective lens with 10 times 2 will give you a total magnification of 100 times, making the object magnified 100 times. Now, let us apply what you have learned in this lesson. For learning test 1, Arrange each step on how to focus specimens using a compound microscope in their correct sequence. For learning task 2, the following illustrations present several steps in using a compound microscope. Write a short description of each illustration in your answer sheet. Study the given table. Identify the three specific tasks that can be done using a microscope. List down the three fields or disciplines where microscopes are being used for. Write three sentences reflection after doing the activity. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mad Cycle, like our videos, and hit the bell button for updates. I hope you learned in today's lesson. In the next episode, we will be describing the different levels of biological organism. This is Mom Diaz Santiago, your science teacher.